Hi, everybody, and welcome to Home Based Business Review. My name is Carl Douglas. I will be your host. But today we got a special guest. Adam Shelton is here in the house. How you doing? <laughs> doing well. Doing very, very well today. And can't wait to dive into this content and this value. Excellent. Excellent. You know what? The last time we talked, we talked about some of your strategies of video. And we got a yeah. lot. A lot of people want to thank you for that because it helps a lot of people. Uh, and and you can see we're getting a lot of traffic, and and that's beautiful. I love that fact. Okay. Now, one of the big questions I keep getting from people they they're addressing this question to you. And the question is, how do why do most people fail in the yeah. online business? Let's talk about that. That's a nerve. Yeah. Yeah, that that failure is a big word and it kind of comes by the person and, you know, everyone takes failure so differently. And the thing about failure is failure is basically a movement of how you can succeed, because before you succeed, you do fail. You know, there's failure before succeed. So it basically means that if you fail at something, you're just getting started. It doesn't mean the end of the road. But why do people fail in online business? I think one of the things is I don't think they're very clear on their purpose, on their goal. I think that they jump into something and they have a high expectation sometimes, but you're not really clear on exactly what you really want. You know what? Paint a picture and write things down. And sometimes, sometimes before you even join a business, start a business, get clear on exactly what your goal is. What exactly what you want to accomplish when you hit that goal? Because you're thinking, okay, I'm hitting this goal. Because why else would you start a business? You don't start a business not to hit a goal. <laughs> you start a business to succeed in your goals, succeed yes. to success. So failure is a part of the movement. It's a part of exactly why we do what we do. We understand failure could happen, but failure basically gives you that, you know, um, give you that information, give you exactly what went wrong. Well, you can make it right and the thing about with failure people just not clear exactly what they want so they join things on the wrong type of purpose and then they have high expectation i want to make ten thousand dollars in five days and then you don't really have any plan of action of how you're going to get there you're not working on yourself to be able to succeed at that so get really clear and exactly what you want and now people are just not as clear you know they're not they say well i want this and this but that's not clear. You need to be exactly clear, step by step, what you want. Then you're gonna start feeling good about yourself. You're like, you know what? Doesn't matter what I'm gonna, no matter what I'm gonna do. Well, if I fail at something, I still want this because you're thinking about your goal and your common purpose. And failure, you're like, forget failure. I'm still gonna succeed at that. And then now you can succeed and you can move on. So get really clear exactly what you want. And and that's another way to test yourself too. I think when a person feel, I'm going to look at myself and address some of my my uh, students as well. You have to understand failure. Just like when you're going to school, you're not really failing. You're you're being tested, right? You know, and when you get when you put your assignment in, you turn your assignment in to your teacher. He's going to look at it and say, "Oh, uh, Mr. Douglas, you, you you missed this. Oh, Mr. Douglas, you missed that. Guess what? You take that." that grade there and go, oh, I can improve on this. And you approve on that. Each mm -hmm. and every time that that you are you feel the feeling, think about this is just a test to help you improve on what you need to improve on. You need to understand that. And I think that happens to a lot of people. They just give up because why? They uh, I'm failing, I'm gonna get an F on this or I'm failing because I didn't make a hundred dollars uh, this month or, or or this week or whatever. And and they end up listening as well to other right. people who, you know, like, I, I don't know if you heard this, but on my Facebook post right now, you know, you're listening to the wrong people, okay? Right. People who don't qualify to even give you advice. You're listening to those type of people. And that's that's the worst thing you can ever do, okay? Right. But, but one of the things, and thanks, Adam, for that. I appreciate that. Sure. One of the things I, I tell people, is this and let's talk about this this is another question 
how to hit your goals each and every time. You just hit on that just a minute ago mm -hmm. on setting goals. Let's talk about that. How to hit your goals each and every time. Tell us how do you track your steps, your goal steps? Well, I write them down for I can see them. So basically your goal should not be hidden. It shouldn't be underneath your mattress. It shouldn't be like, you know, somewhere that you don't go. So mm -hmm. I put goals everywhere I can see them on the bathroom mirror, on the mm -hmm. wall by my computer, right by the steering wheel, by my actually um, my car. I put it like right there. It's like four goals. They're simple goals. And mm -hmm. I put it right there. So when I'm driving, I look over to the left is a big yellow notepad that has the goals there. So I, I got to see it. I look over there like, OK, all right, I'm back on track. So I put it in places where I can see them. And a lot of times when people talk about goals, they say, write them down. It's where you place those goals is going to matter because if I put them in a book somewhere and just throw the book somewhere else, the goals are gone. Because mentally, I need to see it. We're visual people. We need to see things and to believe it. We need to believe it to see or see it to believe it. For me personally, I need to see it. If I'm not seeing it, like Bert actually seeing it, then I'm, I may lose track, lose focus. But if you put it inside your phone, like you get an alert on your phone, like an alarm, every day at 10 a.m., there is an alert and a message on your phone to remind you. You know, that's what you need to do. And then maybe put like a little scripture there or something to motivate you or put an affirmation right underneath it. You know what? And you start saying that every single time. When you read your goals, say the affirmation, and then you go out for your day. You go ahead and crush it in terms of hitting those goals. So it's where it's placed is so important. And that's not really being taught a lot. It's taught where writing them down, you know, put some thought into it, you know, think about the things you want to accomplish. And that's cool. And make sure, you know, you're, you're step by step and you're just honest. Placing them is so important. So put them somewhere you're going to be. I'm not saying you need to put them in the bathroom mirror. I just put it there at first because I just wanted to see them everywhere. So I was putting there, there, there. I, see, I saw my goals like five times in five different rooms <laughs> yeah. still, in the beginning to get me going. And after a while, I put it like in one or two spots I know I'm going to be at. And then that helped me out in terms of like taking action in those goals as well. Love it. Measuring your goals. Um, I, right here, we want to make sure whatever goal we set is realistic goals, right? Um mm -hmm. You want to make sure that, like, if, if you want to lose weight, you don't say, I'm going to lose 100 pounds by this week. Right. You know, that, that's not going to happen. I mean, it just won't happen. But it has to be realistic goals. Like, say if you want to make uh, $5,000, you know, it, that's a 10 vote if you have a high ticket uh, product. Okay. You can do that, especially if it sells for $1,000 or $2,000. You just learn how to follow your mentor's uh you know whatever he tells you to do you should follow that you know simple as that uh but most people don't do that they don't hit their goals mm -hmm. because it wasn't realistic so they give up you know oh i fell you know then all of a sudden they start talking about the color of the yeah. building color of the website are or when i call my mentor he didn't call me back for uh a half an hour i mean think about it mentors are, are very very busy but he did call you back right now, but did, right. did you do what he asked you to do? I mean, we both know that, right? When we work with people, we want to make sure that they are following through what we tell them to do. Okay. Right, right. And a simple way of basically hitting goals, you can use the SMART goals mythology. You know, if you're just saying, okay, I want to hit a simple goal, use the SMART goal mythology. So now you place them somewhere. Now you got places where you want to put them at. Now, if you want to start setting reasonable goals, just like you just said there, you use the SMART goals. So you use specific specific, measurable, attainable, relevant in time. So you can go ahead and use that mythology in terms of like, here, I got to be very specific. I got to measure the goals, just like you said. So the time frame, and then use the attainable or basic what type of action that you're going to attain that mm -hmm. in relevant in terms of like, you know, what is relevant in terms of the goal, be more relevant with it. And then, or realistically, and then you go with the time. When do you want to accomplish this? Is it 30 days, 20 days, a year? So you got to get really thought in those. So once you use that mythology and you place them somewhere you see them, then that does help you. And then it doesn't matter what goal it is, you can use that same mythology. And SMART goals have been around forever. 
and they still work. It's simple. You know, we can, it's a simple formula of where you can at least have something to stand by and go by in terms of starting the goal, expanding the goal, and crushing the goal. <laughs> Scaling it up. Uh, do you believe in rewarding yourself something, a short reward, maybe a weekly reward? Do you do that? Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think you should have some type of reward, if it's a small or medium or large goal, because you deserve it. I mean, the fact that hitting goals are not necessarily easy to hit because it takes a lot into that. It takes a lot, you know, focuses and time and sacrifice, you know, and, and it does take a lot from you. So when you hit a small goal, let's say you hit $100 in just in one week, and then everyone's, if that's small, large, or medium, everyone is different. So I'm going to say it, it was a goal. <laughs> So it was $100 in one week. You should celebrate in some sense of, of rewarding yourself because that's going to give you confidence and sense of, you know, motivation. Okay, I got $100. I'm going to buy myself an ice cream. Let's make an example. And then that could be a, a tradition. Every time I hit a goal, I get an ice cream. Or I'll get, or I get like a pin or something. I reward myself because I'm proud of myself. So, yes, I do. I go by that, reward myself on all kinds of goals. Cause I'd be like, man, I just hit this. I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate and be proud of. You should be proud of in your goals because it's your goals and you set them and you hit them. I love it. Yeah, cause I know for myself for a fact, when I, when I hit a goal, my thing is I love to buy watches. So, you know, I'll go buy me a nice little watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. my, animal, yeah. my goals are maybe bigger than a normal person because I believe that if I can you know, like say if I if I break uh, about three bricks, I use this for for an example. If I break three bricks with my hand, uh, I'm gonna start off wanting to break four bricks or five bricks because I right. want to basically push myself. Right? Mm -hmm. Most people don't push themselves to attain what they need to attain. Uh, so you you got to keep doing it. Like I know for a fact. Just take Adam Shelton's day in the morning. Go ahead and run us through. What do you do in the morning until you go to sleep? What's, what's um, the you know, it's very interesting, man. In the beginning, I actually read my goals. <laughs> you know, I actually read um, affirmation and I read my goals. I do the reading first, you know, the meditation and the reading and really get aligned exactly what my purpose is and my goals are and exactly what I want to accomplish. Um, so I get my mind right. So that's the first thing I do is get the mind right. And then I get work on getting the body right. So some type of exercise that I try to do, because not only do I want my mind to be crisp and focused, I want my body to be strong and alert. I want to be fire. That's what I'm thinking. So if I get my inside and my outside, you know, strong and ready to go, I feel like I can attack anything, any type of failure if it happens or any type of success that can happen or any type of challenges that may come my way because I'm preparing myself. So before I even start taking action on actually the actually business aspect of it or whatever that is, I get the mind, I get the body right. And then I'm like, you know what? It don't matter what's happened. I'm going to attack this today. And I, and I really feel that way. I feel really good. And sometimes some mornings takes a little bit longer, but sometimes you need more literature. You need more education, you need more reading, you know, scriptures and, and affirmations. And you may need to read your goals about four or five times. Like, I'm not, I'm not feeling this goal right now. I need to kind of get in the zone. So some mornings it takes me a longer to get it going because for some reason I need that extra motivation. Sometimes I put music on to get me going, inspirational music that, that really gets me you know, fired up and everything like that. But you need to get to a place where you feel like you can attack the day. Your mind is right, your body's right. I love that because I think a lot of people don't understand in the morning is so critical. Adam, you always pump. Every time I call, oh, yeah. talk, you're always pump. And, and oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's called self-motivation. You got to motivate yourself and whatever yeah. it is that's going to turn you on and get you going. Fire up. I heard what you said about music. I love music and I like to dance and I'm always from the disco, the, the disco days. Right. Mm -hmm. And so something <laughs> happens up here when I'm emotionally feeling good, okay? I can get on the phone and I can talk to people. I know, cause I see you on the phone all the time, you know, and and which is good. So when people hear you, they may be sitting there going, oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna try this. So you gotta let them know, hey, 
you know, feel good. You you survived this this virus thus far. You know, yeah. you know, when you wake up in the morning, hey, shout for joy. I mean, you you <laughs> you know, make it happen. And and then like for me, I, I keep pictures of my my grandkids, you know, they're right here. Yeah. And and uh, one of the things that fires me up and should fire everybody, find that reason why. Okay. Find that reason why it's gonna hit, it's gonna help you hit those goals each and every time. Because failure shouldn't even be an option. Enjoy yourself, right, Adam? Enjoy mm -hmm. what you're doing. You know, oh, yeah. If if you're not enjoying what you're doing, you fail already. Because mm -hmm. you be the one that's gonna be going, oh, maybe I don't feel like doing this today. You know how, how we call in sick from our jobs? We, we right. you know, some people are working. We may want to call in sick the minute we wake up, we want to, oh man, I wanna to go to this job today. I feel like this laying in this bed and just enjoying some Netflix movies, right? Right. Okay. But but when you set a goal, and and this is what I say, and and you, we'll talk a bit more about this because this this is a a, a pretty uh, big topic. People want to know, okay, this right here, how to hit their goal each and every time. We we address the fact that if you set a reasonable goal, it will work for you. Okay. If you if, if you say anything higher, you know, if you don't hit it, you may be disappointed that you didn't hit it. And it, it may bring you down just a little bit. OK, mm -hmm. but that's why I always said my goal is pretty high because it helps me. But I do it every day. I don't. That's what's different. If you do it every day. Because people quit. Right. And they give them right. a break. It's harder to get on, get on top of that horse again. You know, it's harder to stop, start all over again, because once you quit, You'd be like making up excuses why you shouldn't do it today. Right. One day can turn into two days. Two days can turn into three days. So I would say, don't stop. Do it every day. Do every it like day. if your if your life depends on. Before you know it, you just created an, an habit. You mm -hmm. know, you wake up in the morning. Oh, I gotta go listen to a little bit of Les Brown. You know, I gotta turn on uh, Down the Summers or something. You know, or or MC Hammer or whatever. You know, whatever I gets you going. Know. You know. But but let's let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, tell me about one of your struggles of hitting your goal, and you discovered, hey, reading your. I know you said reading your. Um, I guess you have sticky notes in certain places, and you look at it, and it gets you fired up because it, it reminds you what you need to be doing, right? right? But tell me about one of your. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're all human. Tell me about something that you you were trying to accomplish, but. For some reason, you were just dragging in the mud about it. I, I want people to know that I we think at first, like, we're human. <laughs> I think sometimes is that I, I think some of the goals, I think that I had one goal that I wanted to go faster than what I wanted. So I was trying to speed up the process of it. And this particular goal was it just takes time. And I didn't want to wait the time. I mm -hmm. wanted to basically go right at it. And okay. one of it was I wanted to, I was testing something in terms of lead generation and I was trying to accomplish more leads in a short amount of time. But okay. the process, this process, it takes longer to really accumulate leads and high converting leads. And so I needed to be patient with the process. So I had to go back and really work on myself in terms of like really giving myself the chance and they actually satisfaction that enjoy the process. Cause I wanted to rush. I want all these leads to come in a short amount of time. But the way this setup is they only do high converting leads. And so I just, and so basically I was thinking about numbers and they were thinking about conversions. And this was kind of early in the process in the, in the journey. Cause I just wanted a bunch of leads to come in, but all those leads may not be good leads. Well, this program where it says it, Gives you more high traffically so it's a slower process and i didn't want to wait so i was trying to rush the process and then i was starting to get overwhelmed because i was not necessarily realizing that this is a, actually a better vehicle okay <laughs> it's getting better converting leads for i can help solve more problems so it wasn't necessarily a numbers game it was basically a conversion game of like i want this in so basically you know for me i had to really work on myself on this you know, on the patience of it. And that's what I'm saying about the goals is that not only you want to set your goals, set up your smart goals, 
put them in places where you're going to see them, but it's also working on yourself along the way. Because every day you may have challenges with that goal and you may want to speed up the process. You may want to slow down the process. It really depends on what aligns with that goal is. So if it's high converting leads, hey man, just wait. <laughs> when those leads come in, be ready for your email, you know, email follow-up. You know, be, get ready, get that video ready. Get that part ready to go. When it does come in, you're ready to go. Don't worry about this, the whole process, because that's going to work itself out. That's going to work itself out because you put the work and the time in. Don't speed that up. And that's what I made a mistake of. I was trying to speed that up and I didn't have all the other stuff together. And so now I was scrambling. So I have to go back, get my email follow up together, get that first video ready and then continue working on myself to slow down and enjoy the ride. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I know that right now we can say uh, Hill is a beautiful company. Um, Steve Munson does an outstanding job as a CEO of this particular company. Um, I like the fact that they 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 definitely are very transparent and they make sure that whatever you are, uh, whatever they're teaching you has a lot to do with mindset. Yes. Mindset. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that the most important thing is mindset, mindset. It doesn't matter what you're selling, what you're doing, but if you don't have this right, you're, you already failed. Okay. Yeah. So you need to be a master of yourself, self-motivation. Okay. And, but yes, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now I know that you, um, you have material yourself that you would like people to look at it and, and it's going to be easy to find you. That it's going to be in the description here. So um, definitely, anybody who's listening to Adam Shelton right now, the legend, <laughs> my brother, yeah. he he he's definitely uh, been through it. He made mistakes, and he learned how to be a better person, how to be great and greater. Okay, and and right now, if you want to follow someone who have struggled in the beginning, and now can teach you the skills that you need to learn uh, in order for you to be successful, he's your man, okay, mm -hmm. he's your man. Uh, okay, so Adam, let's let's go ahead and answer some more questions here. Uh, of course. So let's talk about income, okay? Let's talk about um, if a person is, is set to make money as a online marketer, they need to set money aside to market, right? It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost sure. to do that. And would you agree that people need to understand that they need to have a budget? Yes, okay. yes. They, yes. It's not, it doesn't have to be great. You can scale up on the budget. Sure. But, and, and also, would you agree that they need to understand that this money, when you're making money and you're profitable in your business, you have to pay taxes, right? Yes. So don't yeah. worry about that. That's that's part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Uh, how do you look at that? We don't have to talk about how they do the tax, but tell me what you thought your thoughts are about, uh, you know, setting a budget up. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, it's very important to have a budget for anything, even for your house bills or anything that you're investing into yourself. But the budget is kind of part of like starting a business or you know expanding your business you got to have a budget and it's good to stay within the budget because when you're starting to go outside the budget that's when things can start to happen mm -hmm. but it's good to start a budget that you can manage and don't compare your budget to somebody else i've seen that a lot i did that oh your budget is a thousand dollars in your business i will crank my a thousand dollars even though i was not in a position to do that yes. so a lot of times we compare ourselves to everything and budget is kind of one of the things Oh, that person just got his business license. I need to get my business license tomorrow, even though I'm not in a position for that. So set the budget that works for you and you only, and then only scale it when you're starting to you know, make some profits or, or money of other sources is coming in that allows you to scale it up more. So don't scale it up until you do have the funds and things are starting to come in. A lot of times you can stretch yourself too thin and yes. then now you're playing catch up. So it's a simple budget. It could be a couple hundred dollars a month. That's fine. You know, that's enough for an autoresponder. That's enough to get some equipment. You know, that's enough to at least get some leads or something for the month. So just think about that. Keep it really simple. You may have to, you know, do some other strategies 
to make up for the budget. And that's completely fine. You know what? But that could really be rewarding in the long run. That's why it's good to have platforms like Facebook Lives and YouTube, because it doesn't cost anything necessary to put a video out there. Now, yeah. it costs other things in terms of like getting the mentorships in terms of you want a professional done or something like that. But it ain't cost much to like do a Facebook Live and basically get people to to really like believe you and sign on to you. That's free, but it takes your time away. So that's not free. <laughs> so anyway, so your budget is important. Make sure you get a budget, stick with it, and then always be looking at it of ways you can increase the budget based on what the activities is coming in. And you'll be just fine. I see people go outside their budget or you know what? I see people under budget. They under budget where they actually have money to do this, but they're afraid, you know, they get this mental thing, like you were talking about, the mentality of because I've seen people under budget sometimes, like you got 300 extra dollars, use that for that business where you can start expanding it. Yes. And so you have to look at that. Don't cheat yourself. You know, if you can do a little bit more, do a little bit more, and then go from there and just trust the process. It's a ride, it's an enjoyable ride if you stick with it long enough. Thank you. Um so when a person first start their business, when you agree that they're going to need to understand squeeze pages, email, things like that, that's very important, right? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. So when you set your budget, there's certain things and tools that you would need to be in place to be successful for future. Yeah. Okay. One one thing I, I got to say that that's very very uh, important is capturing that email. Yes. And learning how to get an email mm -hmm. you no know, we can we can talk more about that next time <laughs> sure. Sure. But because, yeah. because that is where your money's at okay yeah money is definitely in the list but more importantly it's in the relationship you build with that list yeah yes and certain things you need to say to them to find out what they're looking for what they want so you can give it to them okay right help them as they go through their journey and so on. Adam, I got to thank you again, man, for being our guest yeah. here at Home Based Business Review. We always Absolutely. look forward to, to, to your wisdom, your knowledge. We're going to invite you back. Would you like to come back? I would love to come back. We need to actually put back what we were talking about, you know, the capture page, collecting the email, and what to do after that, because it's a process, a really cool process. So we can talk about that next time. It sounds good to me. I, you can never get enough information on that because that's so important mm -hmm. building your business. Well, mm -hmm. this is Carl Douglas from Home Based Business Review with our guest, Adam Shelton, the legend. And we will uh, invite him back. And, and if anybody have any questions, you know, send them to me. And what I would do is next time we talk, we interview Adam, we can ask him those questions like we did today. But once Absolutely. again, we'll see you soon. Bye for now, guys. Thank you very much.